Hey guys, welcome back to Yokai Watch 2, and in this episode, we're going after another rare yokai, but this time on Fleshy Souls. But before we get to that, in between this episode and the last, something pretty awesome happened. Oh my gosh, finally, yes! A crushing defeat. But strange, I feel so refreshed. You and your friends must have shown me the meaning of true strength. I desire that kind of power too. Please, let me join you so I can gain strength. Finocked! Will at long last join the team, holy cr- Well, actually, that didn't take too many tries. I think it was like less than 10, but basically, I saved at Mount Wildwood, took the Mirapo here, and constantly rebattled Venoct once I completed his first challenge. And now a piece of the medallion's gonna all of it! A page of the medallion is gonna get lit up, which means we're that much closer to getting all the legendaries and oh, he wants to be friends. Imagine that. He'll be one powerful ally. I'm looking forward to our new future battles. Same! <laughs> Nate is totally a kid that would just say same. Anyways, now that we got this yokai, let's add him to the team because Venoct, even straight out of the box, is pretty darn powerful. I know he's an S rank yokai and all, but even compared to other S ranks, he's usually a step above, and I want to see if they've actually changed the stats around him. Yeah, I'm going to swap my yokai because honestly, we got to make room for him, which means sadly, yeah, one person will. Maybe I have to go away for a little bit. Oh my gosh, he starts at level 50? Okay, so they changed the stats from Yokai Watch 1. Now, Strength is the second highest stat, which is really cool. But here are his abilities. Let's transfer him to Fleshy Souls and test him out. And now that we're on my copy of Yokai Watch 2, Fleshy Souls, we're gonna be playing with Venoct and actually completing an exclusive side quest that we can only do in this version of the game. And the only thing you need to do so before initiating the side quest is I'm pretty sure you just need the S rank Yokai Watch. And if you got that and some strong Yokai, you're pretty much ready to go. But come up here to uh, the science lab and he's so smart and so cool. Hi there. Oh, he's so cool. Don't you think? Uh, who are you talking about? Mr. Barton, of course, the science teacher, duh. He's so smart and worldly. I wish I was in his class. Okay, <laughs> right? We are actually start a little fan club for him. Uh, we just want to know all there is to know about him, that's all. We're a fan club created by the fans, for the fans. Of a science teacher. That sounds pretty okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Whatever. Hey, can you do me a favor? The fan club could use your help. All right, in the old fox shrine, apparently Mr. Barnes a popular teacher. Oh, thanks, you're really nice. Well, do you want to become a member? No, thanks. <laughs> really? Oh, I could use a new mi minion or assistant. <laughs> so first order of business, there's something I need you to investigate. I need you to dig up some info on Mr. Barton's hobbies. He's literally, he's literally right there. You can hear all of this in his hobbies. Why? Well, it turns out we don't actually know that much about Mr. Barton. <laughs> but I want to be best just to ask him directly. Y you don't get it, okay? Uh, sure, we could just ask him. That would be so obvious. And it's like, we should already know. She has a point. <laughs> anyway, could you just investigate for us? So, problem solved. Go on, do it. Shoosh. Uh, but I don't even know where to begin. Uh, must I do everything? Look, search around Springdale Elementary. Some kids could talk to and ask about Mr. Barton. Duh. Oh my gosh, there he is now. Oh boy, what'd you get yourself into, Nader? More or less, what did I force you to get into? But now, to get this quest done in a timely manner, honestly, just do the quest tracking because it'll take you directly to the students that you need to talk to. But yeah. Not gonna lie, this quest is pretty strange, and I'm a bit curious if the dialogue changes all that much if you pick Katie's side, because, I mean, Mr. Barton's cool, but let's be real, he's kind of on the old side, and you want Mr. Barton's hobbies, huh? Well, I don't know if this counts, but I know he's interested in local history. I've seen reading history books quite intently in the library before. Wait, are you one of them? You know, a member of his fan club. They're so nosy. They should just leave him be, if you ask me. So Mr. Barton likes history. Maybe he should be teaching history instead of science. Is that really relevant right now? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Well, I guess it couldn't go and... I don't even know how teachers like teach different subjects, come to think of it. But yeah, the next student is on the third floor. I think if we come right down there, 
It should be near the windows, hopefully. Oh, yeah, it is. Or I didn't know if it was a boy or girl, so I said it wasn't it. And Mr. Barn says he's interested in the history of his town. Uh, now that you mention it, I just remember something. A while ago, he was asking me about Fox Shrine Road. Apparently, a long time ago, there used to be a Fox Shrine on the Chopper's Row, but it's gone now. He seemed really disappointed when I told him that. I guess he went to look for someone. He knew more about the Fox Shrine. Yeah, if I knew anything about the Fox Shrine, I'd have been a reason to talk to him. But it isn't there anymore. Forgetting something, Nate. We can investigate this matter easily. We just have to go to the past. It's so easy when... Oh yeah, we do have time traveling abilities. The Fox Shrine should still be there. And I bet we'll find someone who knows a lot about it too. Seems our next course of action is determined. Let's get going. Okay, so yeah, now we gotta go back to the past like Samurai Jack, Wachak, and go to Shopper's Row. Yeah. And inside Shopper's Row, you may recall this area when we're doing the Komasan quest, and now there's a little girl here, and hey, do you know anything about this shrine? Of course, this is Mr. Fox Destroyed, everyone knows that. Uh, can you tell me more about it? Ah, uh, really? Do you live in a rock or something? Well, fine. I'll tell you about him. So, Mr. Fox, what the? Oh gosh, the scared me. <laughs> I didn't realize that. But the fox protects spring deer, so people think of him as kind of a, a spirit, a protector. Yeah, and they say he's a beautiful fox with nine tails. If you meet him in person, he's kind of fickle and demanding, but he really loves his town, and he protects all of us. He's the reason our town is so peaceful. So anyway. I pay my respects by coming in to clean the shrine each day. Wow, you're really dedicated, and you sound very strange. Ah, uh, what can I say? I really love Mr. Fox. Sounds like he really is universally beloved. Yeah, it's been fascinating to learn all the stuff about him. All right, all that's left to do is go tell the fan club what we've learned here. So let's head back to the school. Yeah, but before we do that, what the heck is going on over here? Oh, it's a schmoopy. I don't know if this is exclusive to, uh... Fleshy souls only, but I sure did not see this like recently <laughs> when I was like playing on Bony Spirits. So this must be something brand new. Hi, Shmoopy and Shmoop Shmoop. Stop right there. I'm protecting this place from riffraff like you. Let's not make this harder than he's a. B um. All right then. I guess we're battling Shmoopy for some reason. So yeah. What the heck? It's invisible. Oh, this must be our first six v six battle. I think it is. Dude, that's awesome, but uh, yeah, we haven't shown off Venox Ultimate yet, so let's show that off right now. So the whole gimmick behind Venox is, in my opinion, he's not really like the strongest yokai of all time, but he has a very unique ability, which is the Venox Charge, and yeah, I think, yeah, now we're gonna get another row of yokai, so that's really cool. I wish there were more 6v6 battles, but oh well, what are you gonna do? So yeah, the Venox Charge ability is... Pretty darn powerful. He's look how much his ultimate is already filled up again. It's already at half. So you're gonna see Octo Snake probably a lot if you use Venox. So if you get his ultimate up using some Soul Secrets, man, oh man, he's gonna. No way! I got another Cupa Stall. Heck yeah, dude! And <laughs> aren't you a beauty? Uh, thank you. Cupa Stall. Well. Join us. I don't actually know if we ever got a Cupa Stall on screen. So hey, now we got one, and that'll go into my. Fleshy Souls Medallion, which is way different than my Bony Spirits one, so yeah, that's the reason for the continuity error, but yeah, th that was random. I can't believe I lost regarding this place. You don't look like the usual riffraff I see around here. I clearly went all that trouble for nothing. I <laughs> uh, guess so, and hey, give me a free ring, but yeah, like I said, this has nothing to do with the quest to obtain QB, so we should probably get back to that, huh? And to do so, we need to go back to our current time, so let's go. And now that we're back at school in our current time, it's time to talk to the president of the fan club and report all the info we got in. Hey, what did you find out about Mr. Barton? What's he into? Well, we did some investigating. Yes. Oh, you're the best. Okay, spill it. What are his hobbies? Um, it turns out he's really interested in the Fox Shrine? Uh, the Fox Shrine? That sounds boring. It's not, actually. I guess the shrine is home to someone called Mr. Fox. Would you mind telling me more, Nate? Oh gosh, he heard us the whole time. Uh, uh, whoa, you surprised me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's this fox beard, and I apologize. Uh, okay, so yeah, Mr. Fox is kind of like a blood protector. Uh, I see. You know, I'm a big fan of the local culture and lore, and I've heard of Mr. Fox before from a book. 
but I didn't have as many details as you. So thank you, Nate. Really? Well, I'm glad I could help. Oh, it was one interesting thing I learned. They say that Mr. Fox has been seen on the roof of this very school. According to local legend, he sometimes appears there at night. Seriously? I've never heard that. We should investigate, Nate. Imagine meeting Mr. Fox. You think it'd be that easy? Just go on the roof and meet Mr. Fox? Maybe. Now that we've completed this quest, but yeah, that's basically the trigger. They say Mr. Fox is taking liking to the roof of the school, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go at night. So now we need to go. Oh my gosh, like, let, me, let me leave. Gosh, all right. We need to come back here at night and go to the roof. So let's do just that. Now that we've completed that portion of the quest, if we come to our school at night, something special will happen. And I hope you're prepared because this battle is not the easiest in the world. But yes, QB will be at our school. QB, what are you doing here? Whatever do you mean? I'm the Mr. Fox your people worship. Are you serious? <laughs> How rude. Is it really a surprise? Eh, it is, I have a good point. There's only one fox in the game, and a real surprise is you haven't changed it a bit in 60 years. Alright, well, um, that's a long story. Perhaps another time, then. Now, how can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. We meet again after all these years, and you have nothing to say? Good grief. You must have too much free time. That gives me an idea. You are free right now, aren't you? Uh... What do you have in mind? Well, you see, I'm actually rather bored. And you seem reasonably strong. And well, I've been itching to defeat you for the past 60 years. Y you have? So, let's do this. Wait, hang on a sec! And you were thrown directly into a battle versus QB. Now, just like Venot, he is an extremely powerful foe. And he's probably, yeah. He's probably gonna kick my butt. So this is already not starting out good because since Lionheart was an ice attribute, it's probably gonna take a lot of damage from Incinerate, which is a very powerful fire type move. And oh gosh, hopefully we can cancel the Inferno. I do not wanna see his soul ultimate right now. Okay, good, we canceled it, nice. So here's the issue. I don't have a lot of heal, oh man, we have like next to nothing. I don't have a lot of healing items. So I don't know how I'm gonna even beat QB if he keeps one-shotting all my yokai like that. But let's purify Fo Kappa, nice. Got him back in shape. Luckily for us though, Fokappa has really strong water attacks and QB is weak to water and he's going for physical attacks. I, Fokappa, why do you hate me? Okay, we gotta purify Shogunyun now. Not bad, all right, the water, oh, 250, holy crud, I think that was a crit and he was weak to it. So, okay. Like Hovernyon got beat down. Unikirin I think is actually weak to fire too. So a lot of our team is weak to fire, which is not good because it's a really popular element. But I think Venoct might be able to beat the play. Oh my gosh, a Golden Wisp. No, wait, I hit him! No, come on, pop it, pop it! Okay, it was just souls, that's fine, though. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So far, this is not the battle I expected at all, but hey, we beat him! Nice! I'm pretty happy about that. That did not go how I planned it would. QB just kind of gave up towards the end there after he failed to channel his soul to me, but hey, I ain't complaining. We beat QB in battle, and wow, that was amazing. You're pretty good. Not bad. If you get bored. Come back again another night. Let's play again under the night sky, shall we? It sounds like you've made quite an impression on him, Nate. You should come back sometime, if you get a chance. Y yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So we defeated QB in battle, and just like Venant, I'm gonna have to wait 24 hours to battle him again, and hopefully befriend him, which is what I'm hoping to do, which is kind of the whole purpose of this video, but yeah. To get QB, it's a lot actually easier than to get Venox, which is a nice change since in Yokai Watch 1, getting QB was one of the hardest things to do in the entire game. But yeah, we get our bingo and Dancing Star. Not bad, but now basically I'm gonna have to wait a whole real world day to battle QB again. So once I've done that and hopefully befriended him, I'll talk to you guys again. Oh my god, we got the Lunar Ring. I think that means he's forced to join me. Please, please, please. Yes! Look, James. Okay. Well, you're pretty good. My heart is pounding in my chest. What a fight. I've made up my mind. I'm coming with you. You can't change my mind. So don't even try. QB! Will finally join our team after only a couple battles, actually. But basically, since I changed the 3DS that was on my copy of Fleshy Souls, 
I had to wait three days to do this event, which is a giant pain in the butt. But hey, at least now we finally got him and he's added to our medallion and it would seem you've made a new friend. Now it's my turn to show you a battle that can get your heart pounding. Ha! I'm looking forward to it, I think. Eh. <laughs> Anyways, now that we have QB, I need to transfer all seven of these yokai, which is including QB and my main team, back over to my copy of Bony Spirits so that we can do a floor of the Infinite Inferno. So I'll meet you guys once I've metal swapped with myself. And all right, now that I've metal swapped over all of my yokai, it's time to explore the Infinite Inferno again, but I also decided to make QB my traveling companion since, I don't know, his overworld sprite just looks so stinking awesome. But speaking of awesome, in Yokai Watch 2, QB actually got something kind of cool. So, Venox's signature skill, Veno Charge, has not changed from the previous game. But QB's definitely has. So now he has Penetrate, which is a very peculiar skill. I've never actually used a Yokai with that ability, but from what I can gather, it means now that all of his attacks are going to go through even if the opponent resists fire for example I'm not sure if that's the case if not feel free to correct me but I think that's pretty darn cool but yeah we're gonna show off his inferno ultimate since for whatever reason every time I go to battle a yokai in this game it never gets off its ultimate I don't know why that is but yeah I just decided might as well let QB fight a little bit in battle however the next boss that we're going to challenge in the infinite inferno is a water attribute, so I don't really know how well QB is gonna do, but oh well. Let's get down back to the third circle and test out QB in battle. And now that we're back on the third circle of the Infinite Inferno, it's time to take on the boss who uh, is basically just SV Snaggerjag but looks extra evil. But before we do that, ooh, treasure! Oh, not bad. I actually knew some of those, but yes, let's get started. Now, this boss could either be the easiest thing in the world or the hardest thing in the world. And since I'm a little underleveled, eh, we'll see. And another tough looking one is coming. This is no good. You'll need my expert analysis. One moment. My spirit's gotten so professional all of a sudden. Done. Tell me. This yokai is sitting formally in his boat, it would appear. What good does that do me? It doesn't do us any good at all, but oh well. So this fight, it's gonna be hard. But you know what? I'm gonna give it my all and let's think. Uh, we really don't have any strength talismans yet, so I guess let's just start the battle. Now, here's the deal about this boss. He summons a lot of fish and these attacking ones are no joke. Honestly, I prefer to focus them down and make sure they don't do any damage. Now. MK6 doesn't do a ton of damage by himself, but when he has two fish out at the same time, either healing him or damaging you, it starts to add up, man, and crud. I need to make sure to heal, like, every turn I can. Let's get a crab omelet like, going. Ooh! There it goes. Nice. Never actually had one of those. I imagine it tastes very, very good, though, but Unikirin is still not where I need him to be, like, offense-wise, but that's okay, because we're going to Moxie Charge, and hopefully that'll do good damage to... Both these fish, come on, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. No, we lost Lionheart. Okay, that's that's fine though. We can go to our back row and maybe get off an attack with Kieran. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not Kieran, QB. <laughs> I'm mixing up my cues, come on. No! No, this is really bad. Okay, that's fine though. We have a lot of mighty medicine. I should have known better than to use that attack when there's water attribute yokai out, and that's fine. The Zebrow use a lot of water attacks while the other ones just, like, normally attack with physical. And there's Gimbal, too, who's pretty obnoxious. If these fish stay out for too long, though, the opponent can go for its ultimate, which is really, really cool looking. If he doesn't go for it, I'll actually show it in this video, but hopefully we never see it. Now, I'm going to leave the healer out because it's not a really big target, but, man, he keeps summoning his fish really quickly. This is a problem. Uh, I'm going to try and heal up using as many mighty medicines as I have. Honestly, you don't need to use Mighty Medicine at all. You should be at, like, a good enough level to clear this out, no problem. But since I don't have Faux Kappa, this is gonna get a little on the tricky side. Um, hopefully we'll be okay, though. Let's try and just revive our whole team. Not looking too bad. I need to heal up my back row, though, which is the problem. Oh my gosh, are they healing him to full? I think they are. Oh gosh, that's not good at all. He dodged the incinerate. Yeah, that's 100 healing a turn. We can't deal with that. We gotta, like, make sure to knock out that yokai. This is not going the way I planned it at all, but you know what? We'll give it a shot. 
Come on, Shogunyan, we need you more now, more than ever. Come on. No, he got knocked out too. Okay, this is not good. No, we're not feeding a Choco Bar to Hovernyan. He doesn't even like those. Let's get our main team back, but yeah. So far, we've basically done nothing. That is how tough this boss can be if you leave him unchecked. And anytime he summons a healer, prioritize that one as quickly as you can. Unless you can do way over 100 damage every turn. Okay, Hovernyan, gonna heal you up with a Nom Burger. I really need to grind up my team, but at the moment... We're just barely getting by, but that's to be expected from me, of course. I always like to be the lowest po possible level, just so I can make sure if you're struggling to, you can clear a stage and I'll give you some chips to do that. Some chips to do that. I'm thinking about food. MK6. All right, how are we going to do? How, we're doing something wrong. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and Moxie Charge QB Sultimate. Maybe. Maybe we can survive this damage. Our defenses are kind of low on this yokai, but maybe it can happen. Oh my gosh, it, the attack dodge. That's fantastic. So we're getting the Moxie Inferno. Now we'll see if his skill does indeed go through. Okay, I know for a fact all those yokai are water, so that's fantastic. Um, It did pretty good damage, I'm going to assume. I still haven't seen how much it did. Okay, yeah, it actually almost knocked them out. Let's go to our normal yokai watch and finish off the additional enemies. They're all weak to you, Electricity. He just summoned another fish? Are you kidding me? How is that fair, dude? Oh my gosh. All right. So Hovernyan's damage here isn't really cutting it. Oh gosh, and we lost Lionheart. Okay, we really need the triple... Tough Tribe. Not Tough Tribe. Brave Tribe bonus. Oh gosh, let's get Unikirin in here. Maybe he can heal us up a little bit. Come on, Shogunyan. Please don't lo loaf around. That is the worst possible thing you could do. Okay, we don't have any Yokai weak to water attribute out right now. So maybe this setup will be fine. Oh gosh, the fairy man shanty. This is bad. We got to cancel that. He already got it off. Are you kidding me? So yeah, basically he sacrifices his two fish and summons a giant. Oh my gosh, we lived. We lived that attack. Are you kidding me? And second wind procced. Oh my gosh, this is this is really good. All right. We can't we can't get off Unikir and Sultim and that's fine. Let's just try and heal up Lionheart all the way. He summoned the healer again. Oh my gosh, this is really intense. I did not think this battle would go. I, I thought it was going to be a stomp because, you know, Shogunyan's pretty darn powerful, but I am so wrong. Holy crud. Okay, we're stabilizing a bit. Let's use um another non burger. We're quickly running out of them and get our triple Brave Tribes out. Summoning another fish. Come on, don't be a healer. Okay, it wasn't. That's fine. Man, the Moxie Inferno actually helped us out a ton. We can finish. We can do this, though. We can do this. Okay, everyone's taking a lot of damage. I'm going to prioritize healing up Shogunyan. Let's use another crab omelet. Get Unikirin back in here. Maybe he'll heal Lionheart. Hopefully, the Nurse Tunga's soul is helping out barely. And it didn't help out enough, apparently. All right, that stinks. Let's just full heal him. Go back to our three Braves. And I'm thinking, let's Moxie charge the Bonito Blade. We got to do it. Come on, come on. Don't knock out Shogunyan. They're going for Lionheart. Oh my gosh, they didn't get it off. That's not good. And they knocked out Venoct. Okay, this is turning into the worst battle we've had. So, is really the hardest battle I've had in Yokai yet going to be against a guy that just summons fish? That doesn't even make sense, man. You know what? We'll, we'll find a way. Oh gosh, it doesn't look like it'll be that easy. Okay, I've burned through so many Mighty Medicine, but I gotta, I gotta top off. Come on, we can, we can do this. We can do this. Just a little bit more, guys. Come on, come on, come on. We just can't lose Shogunyan. We gotta prioritize Shogunyan. He does the most damage because of the beefy bell. Let's get Unikirin back in here. Wait for our item turn to come back so we can heal up Hovernyan. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. I'm legit sweating. It's also 100 degrees in my room, but that's not important. Come on, Lionheart. Come on. Okay, we got our item turn back. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna use my marble beef. This is so intense, dude. Okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna use the shrimp sushi. Heal up Hovernyan a little bit. Okay, we lost him. That's fine. Just one more attack. Come on, Hovernyan. Oh gosh, we lost Hovernyan. All right. Are you serious? I needed you now more than ever, QB, and you loaf around? Come on, man. Okay, let's think about it. What can heal him more than everything? I think his favorite food is Udon, which we don't have, which is really, really bad. Let's think about it. We're gonna heal him up a lot. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to go for the choice tuna. Come on, QB. I just need one more attack. And he did it. QB fried the fish. Holy crud. That was way more intense than it needed to be. I think I need to do some grinding. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was not how that battle's supposed to go. But hey, we got some EXP and some top techniques. And now that we have cleared 
that boss. I believe we we're gonna get, yes, we finally got it. I think this is, this might be the shortcut. I'm not too sure, but I know for a fact that this is a really good grinding spot for souls because there are a lot of yokai that we can just flat out beat up here and oh my gosh. I really do not need to battle that yokai because he will kick my butt with the HP levels that my team is at and wow, just three music cards, that's kind of stinks, but I think, yeah, that is the shortcut. So now we don't have to go all the way through the first, like, floors all over again because yeah, we're taken right back here <laughs> to the IPO. oh my gosh, so I think in between episodes, I'm gonna definitely do a little bit of level grinding and also some soul grinding. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here, battle that yokai, hopefully he'll join me, come back up and then repeat that process a number of times. Still, I get a lot of yokai I can feed to my souls through sorcery. But yeah, guys, that was a pretty intense battle. I think the most intense we've had so far. But all in all, I think we did a lot in this video. I showed you how to get Kyubi, and even showed you what he can do in battle against water attribute yokai, which kind of kick his butt. But oh, <laughs> in the next episode of Yokai Watch 2, we're going after another rare yokai. But this one. It's a little bit on the secretive side, so I want you guys to guess. Who do you think we're going to go after? Nah, I guarantee you can't guess it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.